Juliana, and I'm also from the Federal University of Alagoas. Okay. Uh, the title of my presentation today is Students' Critical Development Through Speaking Activities in English as an Additional Language Classroom. Okay. So let's see. Uh, first of all, I'm not going to talk uh, much about it because some of my colleagues and also uh, Professor Sergio uh, presented the project, okay? So we worked with undergraduate students at the Federal University of Alagoas and this semester I'm working with a pre-intermediate two group, okay? Uh, so, uh, one of the things that we are taking into consideration here is that we are trying to work more on working on both language skills and critical development at the same time, okay? Uh, and to work on this, I selected uh, one of the skills okay, that I'm focusing on, that is the oral, uh, the oral skills, the fluency, okay? The speaking, uh, focusing on the fluency. And why did I choose speaking and not the other skills? First of all, it's based on my experience in my first year as an instructor. I noticed that the students, uh, always when I talked to them, they said, oh my God, teacher, I want to learn how to speak, I want to speak English, I want to speak, and they didn't mention too much writing or, or, or reading or the other skills. And also, um, I also read some things about this topic, and for example, Many, if not most, foreign language learners are primarily, primarily interested in learning to speak. So, uh, most students that are learning a foreign language, they, they want to speak the language. So, they have this focus on the oral skills. Uh, and why did I choose to focus on fluency? Uh, I noticed by, it was my point of view, that students wanted to show their ideas, they wanted to express themselves but they didn't, they didn't have how to because their fluency, their oral fluency was not that good and they wanted to express themselves and they couldn't. So I wanted, I thought that I could do something uh, to help them on this. And I'm using this idea of fluency as fluency is a natural language use uh, because students are going to use the language to negotiate meanings and express their ideas, okay? Uh, so, Working on speaking, I'm also trying to work on developing students' critical thinking, okay? The critical literacy and the critical um, theories, they say that the meanings are always contested and are related to ongoing struggles in society for the possession of knowledge, power, status, and material resources. So, uh, I'm doing, I was trying to show students that all the texts and everything that is around us it has um, an intention behind it, okay? And they had to be aware of this. So, to select the topic, I'm going to, I forgot to say, I'm going to present one of my lessons, okay? We had some lessons like this during the semester. Due to the time, I'm going to show just one, okay? Uh, to select the topic, I tried to uh, take into consideration that the topic was relevant and interesting for the students, okay? So that they would feel motivated to discuss and and pay attention and participate uh, because as Scrivener mentions, if students, if they feel that they really want to say something, there is a good chance of something interesting happening. So it's very related to fluency because they would feel motivated, they would, they would uh, want to show their ideas and express what they were thinking about. Uh, I select this video, okay, this was the material used that is called The Dark Side of Rio. Uh, it's about some laws. I found it on YouTube, okay, as if you want to check, it's on the internet. Uh, it's about some laws that were built around the favelas in Rio de Janeiro, okay? And in the video, it it's was um, produced by an Englishman and he shows the opinions and the arguments of the residents of the favelas, the police and also the the government, okay? So there was a discussion about were, was, were these laws, uh, uh, did they mean uh, segregation, okay? What was the, the intention behind this law? And there were very different opinions in the video. So in this lesson, I'm going to just say very quickly what I did. First of all, I 
listed some topics uh, related to Rio de Janeiro. So I asked, what do you remember of Rio de Janeiro? What did you see on television recently? Uh, I showed the video and asked them some questions for them. It was a listening activity, so they had to recognize the arguments of the residents, the, the police and the people who were speaking. And after this, after I, we checked the answers, I showed these questions, okay, after the listening activity. What sort of gender does the, text, does the text belong to? Who would be most likely to read and or view the, this text and why? Which positions, voices and interests are at play in the text? And whose views are privileged in the text and why? Okay, so they were working in small groups and they had to discuss these questions. After they discussed in the small groups, we discussed and they shared their ideas with the whole group. Okay? So, this is a part of my journal that I wrote after the class. Okay? Uh, I'm going to read it. When they finished it, I asked each group to report what they had discussed and they did it in English. I think the students participated well in, the, in general because they started to give opinions and show their point of view from what they had watched and students didn't talk in their uh, first language, in Portuguese, at least in this moment. So in this moment of the lesson, they were able to show their ideas and the questions were very, uh, I think, they made them think and they had how to express them themselves in English and I thought it was very interesting. Uh, it's a com did you have two comments of two students, okay, just two fragments. The first one, I highlighted um, just uh, a part of it that says, when talking about social issues, as in today's lesson, it raises discussions because it's a relevant topic and part of our reality. And the other student said, an interesting topic starts a good debate. So the students themselves, they notice that when we have, when we have an interesting topic, a relevant topic, it makes us uh, participate. Okay, that was my intention. Here, I have just a fragment. It was about 40 minutes of discussion, so I have a short fragment just to show you. This is a transcription of what students said, how students said, okay? So, um, they were talking about the arguments in the video. And the government, the police, is based on one argument, to contain the expansion of favela and protect the rainforest. And so the, the maker of the movie, of the video wants to show the residents have more more reasons to, to argue, to say why they don't agree with the wall. So he says the video privileged the reasons of the residents. So they were able to recognize this, to see how the, the producer of the, the video worked on the arguments. Um, after this, I have another comment of another student, Kate. Uh, he said it was Due to my critical perception, learning how to analyze the same situation in different contexts. I think the activity was valid. If you see, he said that his oral production was not so good, it was reasonable, but he thinks that even though he, would, he was not able to express everything he wanted as he is a pre-intermediate student yet, he could do it. And uh, at the same time developed his critical thinking. Okay, so the students okay, think it is interesting. <laughs> Just to finish, um, so I want to um, highlight, I want to emphasize that this is a very short example, um, but there is a possibility of linking students' oral fluency development and critical thinking. Okay? And here I, I brought a fragment of another student's comment that I think sums up everything that I wanted to do and everything that I wanted to present today and I thought it was very interesting. She said, in this lesson we learned that it's possible to learn English and discuss social topics simultaneously and it's a big progress. And I think she said everything I wanted. So that's it. Thank you. Yeah.